It's back into Tartarus. We've got a busy schedule ahead of us, and we don't want to waste any minute of it. At this point in the game, it's highly recommended that you go to Tartarus as frequently as possible, because as you can see there, we only have 27 days with which to completely finish what we have to do here. And while the bare minimum, that's plenty of time for that, there are a few more things that I want to do here, as I keep saying. Now, Yukari, Junpei, and Aegis are the three who are the lowest level tier, so I'm going to bring them. Now, I am really surprised that I haven't used that hero's bow, because holy crap, is it a big improvement. Same hit rate and an enormous power increase. Do you have anything better than the Battle Leotard, though? Hmm, Phantom Row plus 30 SP. Let's go with that, actually. Plus, it's less embarrassing. And so you'll join the party. I think I pressed the wrong one. See, it's annoying because they actually switch them around. They put remove from your party second, and then they put that above when you add them to the party. But anyway, we're going to add Igus. I'm pretty sure her equipment's up to date. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and add Junpei. And with that, that's pretty much all I want to do, it, with the possible exception of buying back a baton just to secure me another Tome of the Void. As much as it is a easy money grinding method, I would really like to have more of them. Because it never hurts to equip every single one of your charm users with one of those. I mean, wait, every single one of your healing users with those so they don't get charmed. That's the exact opposite. So, yeah, let's see if I. Do I have room? I do have room. Okay, that's good. And yeah, there's very little that we can do in the way of fusing at this point. Once we hit the mid 70s, suddenly a lot of fusions will open up to us. But until then, there really is not much that we can do. As you can see, Mother Harlot is level 74. And really, that's the best that we can get at this point. A lot of personas will open up to us once we hit levels 73, 75, and 76. Until then, though, and a certain infamous one that is, that's at level 77, that I will actually need to do because they have one of the ultimate weapons. But anyway, we're going to worry about that later. For now, we just want to get as much experience as we can as we keep progressing through the floors of Tartarus. We'll need to climb almost 10 floors this time. Not quite 10 floors, but almost. The next boss is on level 236, I believe. So, let's head out. And yeah, I really... I'm not actually that big of a fan of the normal Tartarus themes, but this one, I really love this one. The added instrumentation just makes it just feel like an epic finale. Just really hammers home, this is the last block. And of course, the scan will take some time once again. So, let's see what kind of enemies that we have around here. Okay, there was one who was quite a bit off my radar, but you are closer. Let's see what you are. Because there are new enemies in this area. This is one of them. There are three enemies. Be careful. Infinite Sand. In preparation, I'm going to be switching to Gabby. And then I'm going to wait to get the scan through. Maragi died. Okay, thankfully Junpei blocks that, and thankfully Gabriel isn't weak to that. So, of course, you'd think this would knock them down, right? Well, it knocked one of them down. It's weak against ice. Use but yeah, holy crap, a sand enemy that is not weak to physical. It is weak to ice this time. And they actually have some pretty dangerous moves. Arrow Rain and Megado, if a lot of them use those all at the same time, that can spell disaster for your party very quickly, so you want to ice them fast. Oh, there's the Arrow Rain. Thankfully, Igus is immune to that. Oh, but I did not mean to press that. Someone please heal. Oh, this could easily be the shortest Tartarus run ever. This really could be. Remember what I was saying about if a bunch of them use Megado or... Arrow Rain? Uh, you know what? Thank you. 
Okay. See, we're getting to the point where I can make these battles look easy thanks to how good my personas are, but if you misclick even once, things can go very, very, very far south very quickly. Oh boy, one of them's going next. Uh, it's a, you're gonna miss out on so much experience, but I'm gonna have to do this. If they weren't going next, I would have used this to revive, but that's why I didn't go for the all out attack, but they were going next, so I had to end this quickly. Ah, oh, that was that was difficult. See, see, as you can see, if you misclick even once here, you can have some really big issues, and I think that might be better than what Junpei currently has. Speaking of Junpei, let's get him back on his feet. How many of these are oh, got... Well, we are going to be learning Dia Rahan quite soon. I mean, what was I saying? Summer Akam on Igus. She already has Dia Rahan, which she will now use on herself. Okay, Junpei, is that... I'm not trying to stab you. Is that Claymore better than what you currently have? Let's see. Oh, they win high. And it's much, much worse. Yeah, we're going to sell that as the first chance we get. Well, I guess we're only fighting one enemy on that floor, then. Random tangent, but I kind of like Claymore's and Blef... Ble Bleth of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild. They're not good against Liz Alphos, though. Those things are just too fast. There are three enemies. Be An odd assortment of enemies here. We have a Doom Sword, pretty ominous name, and a Light Balance. Let's scan the Light Balance first. And let's just focus on taking this thing out as fast as we can, because I really, really don't like these things. That's it. The enemy is down. Uh... Can this do enough damage? Not quite. Please finish it. Thank you. And that might be a bad idea. Not quite, actually. A lot of enemies in this block repel wind. This thing doesn't. This thing is just resistant to wind. But it has Magarola, Mahama, Mamudo, and Negado. It's really, as far as enemies go here, not that terrifying. That is terrifying, though. This can potentially be terrifying if I get an unlucky double kill. Yeah. Uh, you don't happen to have Summer Akam, do you? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, right. Let's switch to Yolunga and let's try and revive somebody. Yeah, let's revive Igus. I got pretty lucky with Hummer and Mudo skills on enemies earlier in the game, but now they're really pulling out all the stops and they seem to be hitting us all the freaking time. Please don't use my Hummer again. I believe Yolunga is weak to that, so I'm glad that missed. <laughs> I still love what balances look like when they do regular attacks. They just fly up in the air and use themselves as a stake. Now let's see if I can get the scan on the Doom Sword in. And you actually were weak to that. Nice. Doing a nice job on the dodge there. I will... The only single targeting thing I have of uh, that element is Thunder Rain. But it's relatively cheap thanks to Spellmaster. You are going to explode into a million pieces with this. Yep, goodbye. I'm still scanning you, and I'm going to wait to see if I can get the scan through, and get two for the price of one. <laughs> Thought she was going to say, I'll show you my true form. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of Persona 5 lately. Thank goodness for that item on Yukari. So, yeah, this thing's weak to ice, repels elect, hence why I did not use Mazio, or, I mean, Mazionga or Maziodyne, the two that Odin has. Death Bound's probably the scariest thing this can do. And I need to get Junpei back now. Surely I have someone with some Rakan who's not weak to a leg. I believe I do, actually. But I think I just blew 80 SP in one battle. That's not good. Though at this point, like I said, probably a good idea to use your precious eggs now. There's not really all that much left of the game. 
And goodbye, Doom Sword. I made up my mind. I no Doom for us today. And your Lunga leveled up. And Abaddon leveled up again. I, I feel like what's happening is Abaddon's going through a kind of a Groundhog Day loop of like, Yay, I got my final skill! Then resets. <laughs> then, yeah, I got my final skill again. But I'll certainly take another Tome of the Void. And I'll probably have to get rid of Abaddon again and reset the loop because I'm going to want to... Even if I don't want more for the party, these sell for more money than Abaddon uh, goes for on the companion. Yes! My skill level has increased! And Yukari levels up. The one I really want to level up is Junpei, though, because he is actually behind. Hello there. What are you? You are... Okay, yeah. These things like to show up in large groups sometimes, and I love that because I can just Odin and go... Odin can do his Reign of Thunder on them, except uh, not the literal Thunder Reign because that'd be too expensive. Good choice. The enemy is down. Let us Keeping Mazionga is actually not bad for those situations where you know that an all-out attack will kill. So you can save on SP by doing this. Great battle. And we have... Uh, I wish I got a more experience card there. Five and three. It's kind of funny, before I was desperately strapped for cash, and now I... What did I just say? Another final armor. Hmm. Uh, is that better than what you have? Oh, I already gave you better equipment. Let's see if uh, I can give something better than Junpei. And not stab him with that lance. Kaiser armor. Yeah, final armor is certainly better than that. Plus three to luck. Is the Kaiser armor any better? Plus three agility. Eh. I mean, I'd rather have plus three agility, but this has got so much more defense than it. And I mean, Junpei doesn't really need either luck or agility all that much. There are two of them. Attack. Hello again. I do not like you, and I will make that known now. That's it. The enemy is down. Let us strike while the iron's hot. And, yeah, it seems like the Reaper really doesn't like us at this point, considering that we have chosen to fight against death itself, that makes perfect sense. So, they will sometimes throw multiple curse cards in one shuffle time at you here. That can get pretty annoying. Okay, those are the stairs. I might as well continue on for a little bit to see what we've got here. Still need another platinum medal. There's one enemy. Single one of you, huh? Which is going second. Yep, let's just put it it. I was considering just using physical attacks, but at this point... Do not want to risk it getting a bazillion criticals with arrow rain. We're not getting a lot of experience cards. We are getting some good money, though. Yeah, I'm sure I have Lux me already. Anything? Okay, a chest. And a big group of shadows. My guess is that you are balancers? Let's see. No? Okay. Well, you're half balancers, but the other half are daring gigasses. These things are identical to how they were as purple shadows before. They're just basic enemies now. So, nothing really much else to say here, other than I like using Norn against this group of enemies. Even though the balancers resist wind, this still does a lot to me. Okay, I'll check out what the chest is, and then... My level of aptitude has increased. I guess his level of aptitude will increase. 
Of course you give me this much money when I realize I don't need it anymore. Thanks, game. Thanks a lot. What I was going to say was, I will now give Gary Sue an egg. Because he kind of needs it. This late in the game, I can feel fine about using those. And it's always that thing with RPGs. Whenever you get those really rare, full restoring items, you just want to hold on to them. Because you know that they're quite hard to get, but then you reach the very end of the game and you suddenly have a whole bunch of them. Speaking of have a whole bunch of my Persona stat boosting cards. I will use those, but probably not until the very end. There are two enemies. So, yet another old slash new enemy, the Royal Dancer. This was a boss previously, but it's totally different now. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. And this makes me wish that I had Tome of the Void on Gary Stu. Yes, these things are another sexy dance user. You know what, I might as well go with Balls of Bull. These things don't really use all that much in the way of, um... Okay, I'll scan you, and then I'll try and hit you. I'm just thinking about the poison uh, myriad arrows. Yeah, that's painful. So, no weaknesses, repel wind, and null instant death. And like I said, sexy dance. So, that's kind of frustrating. I should not have used Bowls of Bull. I was like, oh, Bowls of Bull's weak to fire. But those things aren't going to use fire, are they? And then they have fire. Of course they do. Oh, didn't die. I don't think poison can actually kill you in this game. It only leaves you with one HP. And, well, it's gone anyway. Yeah, I'm... I said I'd demo Bowser Ball. Okay, that's not gonna work. Uh, let's... Okay, let's just... This is expensive, but I'm just gonna make a dollar you. That's all right! Damage, and then that happened. Okay, could that miss everyone? Yeah, a lot of enemies here repel wind, so Yukari tends to waste her turns casting Windbreak. You won't escape. That was not a waste of a turn at all. Thanks, I guess. Did I succeed in protecting everyone? Don't think I've ever heard that quote before either. Oh, I promised that I'd show the Rocket Fist. So you're gonna have to get a suboptimal weapon for the time being. Yeah, I'll make sure to switch back to this later, but uh, let's just use the rocket propelled fist. <laughs> she doesn't seem to realize that it's not all that great, but uh, you can see it there with the skull on it. I'll try and show what it looks like in battle. You two are totally new. The Vehement Idol and the Grand Magus. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a persona that has no weaknesses and just uh wait this out. I won't lose! Okay. Please tell me you don't repel wind. Well, one of you blocks it entirely. It's weak against fire. You repel an awful lot of things, but wind isn't one of them. Weak to fire and repel both in You are mega- You're also level 88, and you're not even a purple shadow. Holy crap, that is terrifying. Mind charge, mega dollar on. Please don't do that. That would be really tragic. All the enemies that are here are in the high 60s, and suddenly there's a little 88 enemy. Well, it kind of makes sense you're saying hand to hand because it has a bunch of giant hands. You would have done more damage just by hitting it, Junpei. Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid thing. Oh, great. Considering my luck with this, well, good thing we were immune to it. Okay, fire, right? Give me a Scan you, and let's just hope that... Actually, I don't need to worry about you repelling fire, because I can just use a singular Archidine. You will burn to the ground right now. I do not like the, the idea of Mind Charge. Holy crap, you have a lot of defense. Uh, right, let's see. Unless you have weak physical defense. No, you do not. Wow, you are really defensive. I'm wondering if this thing is even supposed to show up now. Level 88? 
I guess I'd like it if you actually demo your fist, but wow, that thing is really defensive. Level 89! Yikes. But you are weak to light, and uh, yeah, you've got Bufugain and even more repels. Repel Pierce! Oh, no wonder I guess isn't using a standard weapon. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Everyone's gonna die, aren't they? Oh, that's bad. It was a dog. Well, everyone almost died. Yarius 2 got saved by the, by the uh, sacrificial idol, but that's a one time only thing. Uh, right there. Ice and Dark. Who do I have here that resists Ice and Dark? You are Null to Dark, you are Strong to Dark, you are Weak to Dark, but no- Okay, yeah, you're probably my best bet, but first, I have a score to settle. You are dying right now. I'm not sure why they're throwing level high 80s enemies at us at this point in the game, but they are for some reason. And I'm going to go back to you, because that thing can do literally nothing to Gabriel. And then I'm going to just... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, with delight. Yeah, I won't get one more anyway. Uh, I want to bring back people. Where are my revival items? I don't really need much in the way of... Yeah, I'm going to bring back Yukari. Hopefully she doesn't immediately die again, because that would be bad! Please don't immediately die again! Thank you. I would appreciate you, Kari, if you use your revival spells. You know what, I'm gonna put you on... And that was a stupid move. You know what, I'm glad that happened. Nice repel there, but that basically one-shotted her. You know what? I don't care about the others. You're going down. Gary still have to hog all the experience for himself. Yikes, those enemies are strong. No shadows detected. You weren't even a purple shadow. Well, maybe you were and I didn't notice it, but seriously, level 88 and 89? Normally enemies at that level only show up in... Holy, that's a lot of experience. So I think everyone ever is going to level up from that. Well, actually, only Odin did, but still. <coughs> Sorry about that cough there. That battle seems to have affected even me. Yeesh, that was, that was horrifying. Okay, I'm going to be bringing back some people. Kai will come back, and if I say request healing... Oh, good, she does it automatically. They are certainly worth a lot of experience if you do kill them. But I'm surprised they're showing up here, of all places. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna move on. That was terrifying! You have now seen the power of Mind Charge Megadola on. You do not want enemies to do that to you, because that is terrible. Okay, it's Odin time for these enemies. Wait. It's the exact opposite of Odin time. Yeah, that last battle really rattled me and I'm kind of derping at the moment. But I can instead do this and hope that someone else gets a turn before this thing gets to move. Or it could just die out, right? And I wouldn't even have to worry about the paralysis or shock or whatever. It must be eliminated. Yes, everyone, critical, unleash your rage. That last battle was just terrifying. Why is there a level 88 enemy in this area? I admit that technically I'm actually a bit under level for this area of Tartarus, but... 
the normal enemies here aren't really that bad with the personas that I have. It's mostly just those things. The idols aren't that bad if you know that they're weak to light because then you can just one-shot them, but that Vegas, it's just so defensive in addition to being so powerful. I was about to say that the Sands were my least favorite enemies in this area, but I obviously have a new one now. <laughs> that experience is looking pretty pathetic now that we have known that you can potentially get 99 here. I mean, you can potentially get like 99 times 100. Muscle drink, great. You know what, one thing I will say, it does seem that Persona 5 has improved the old morsel and muscle drink. Instead of just giving you a random status ailment, they're like trade-off items. They raise one stat and lower another. So like, I think mu- oh, and by the way, these are new. And you are not silver, why are you called silver dice? I think you're another- no, you're just physical. In which case, I will send in a button! And just not too much, because there's not much I can do. Because yes, they are immune to that. Ah, uh, they're also immune to that too, Junpei. Yeah. They're immune to everything physical, but the plus side is, they're weak to both elements of instant death. So, uh, there are, there's a lot of things here that have death bound, but apart from that, these things are not that big of a threat. I'm like a stupid Magus. Okay, I say that. Please don't kill anyone. Thank you. Yeah, I guess is pretty much useless here. If only you had pierce attacks. And I still haven't shown what that rocket punch looks like when it's actually used, but... Let's go for Thanatos. And, uh... Die for me has not been my friend, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Would you all kindly please die for me? It always misses at least one of them. No, it won't. It survived die for me. My hands are tied. Literally, because one of your weapons is a hand. Uh oh! That actually did pretty much nothing, though. <laughs> so, uh. Kind of a waste, but I might as well. I knew that would miss! You should be dying soon, though. Your car is really running low on SP. Oh, there we go. Sooner than I expected, actually. Well, you kind of just did earlier. Oh, the pause there made me think that we'd be getting a level up, but no, unfortunately. I think we all need some healing, but we are running low on the SP required to do so. I'll just give you Kari a little bit of a boost. So she can heal us all, and then we can try and find some more enemies, because I will say, we really want to be keeping our levels up, because the next boss, oh boy, the next boss. There's one enemy. Let's see if I'm lucky this time. The next boss is the third member of the Terrible Tartarus Trio. The three most infamous bosses in Tartarus. The first one was the Rampage Drive, right at the very beginning of the game. I still feel like that's actually the hardest of all of them, because it's the point of the game where you don't really have access to very... I did not want you at all. Yes, go away where you don't have access to very much in the way of decent skills or equipment, and you're forced to use a party member that the boss resists everything they have. The second one is the Sleeping Table. I actually ended up trivializing this boss quite a lot. But that is a boss that gives a lot of people problems. 
The third is the boss that's coming up right now, and you're immune to instant death, aren't you? How about some arrows? These arrows are not weak and twisted. You should fear them. Nobody's going to understand what I'm referencing there. This is probably something that only I find amusing. Uh, you know, I, prove, I probably should have put her on rush mode just so I could show what the fist looks like. I'm going to put you on rush mode just to make sure nothing goes down. And then I'm just going to... Who's going... Okay. Let's show Icus' rocket punch. Still a pierce attack, not a strike attack. I guess is equipped with a power fist, and yet she's going second. I thought that I could equip items from the menu. This is not Persona 5. Or 4, for that matter. So, let's go ahead and switch you back to the much, much better gun. And, uh, let's see, is there going to be a chest down here? Might as well ambush you. We've still got quite a way to go. Oh no, no, not you again! There are two... It's weak against fire. Use Augie skills. <sighs> you repel light. That's not good because. Hmm. Well, Gabriel is immune to light, so I could go for the Mahama on and attempt to. But honestly, that thing's even more dangerous. Please tell me this will only rebound onto Gary Stu and not onto everyone. Yeah, it only rebounds onto Gary Stu. And it missed. Okay, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. I probably shouldn't have risked this, but uh, we can always try and run. Oh, this could be our fatal end quite easily. I probably should have used a fire spell on the Magus first. Thankfully, Junpei's got that covered. Oh, Junpei, please leave it down. Please don't follow up, you stupid fool. Ah, uh, this is why I wish I could control teammates in this game. Okay. Who's going next? Be out of SP if it... Okay, I just realised something. So... Remember that thing I was talking about, about the rare RPG item syndrome, how you just want to hold on to them? This is one of those times. These items are very rare. I believe you can only get them from Elizabeth's requests. But I feel like now is as good a time as any to show them off. Eat Flame Nagatama. That barely did anything. But yes, that actually casts Ragnarok. So, in some ways, I'm kind of glad that I used that up there, because, really, uh, it's not all that great. Please die, idol. Please die. Oh, no. And, of course, that thing gets right back up again. Thankfully, it's a moron. Good. Okay, that was a pretty good second. And, well, repel time. Everyone's in trouble. Okay, Junpei, please. Okay, that's not terrible, but... I don't like that Magus. I don't like that Magus at all. I'm running low on SP. Please tell me that I have, like, an Ugly Loud gem or something like that. Yes, I do. I have three of them. You are going to get Ugly Loud. Keep it up. Do, it again. do I have any Purifying Rice? Great, I can't cast my hammer on. Again, though, I'm not so worried about that thing because it can do literally nothing to Gabriel. Will you die? No, please kill it. Oh no. Well, I think there's a possibility that we might that some of us might survive. Just barely. Oh no. I knew that would hit Junpei. Oh, right, we were auto marakud for some reason. Good bo We were auto marakud Are you kidding me? Okay, that probably would have one-shotted us. Are you okay? Once Please again, Gary Sue's going to hog all the experience, but it's going to be pretty fun just to sit here and let this thing repel itself to death. Please do that. 
at all. Well, I'm immune to that anyway. Use Bufudine. I said use Bufudine. I don't care how much you do that, but I want you to use Bufudine because that's going to be really satisfying. Thank you. Boing! And dead. Don't give up. No, we will not, and that was not much experience at all. Okay, nice job, Gabriel. That just got even better. I can replace your Null Dark for something even better. And what's your next skill? Myriad Arrows level 75. Okay, then. Is that in one level or two? Meanwhile, everyone's dead. You know what? How many Somas do I have? Now's as good a time as any to use them. Does that affect unconscious people? I don't think it does, actually. I really don't think it does at all. I... Uh, I need to buy more Revival Beads. I really need to buy more Revival Beads. If I do this, okay. Will, you, will Yukari automatically revive Igus? Thank you. Yes, she did. And now... I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I said to save those for emergencies, but that was definitely an emergency. Wow, those enemies are ridiculous. Don't know why I don't remember them from my first playthrough. Okay, I, I wanted to check if Gabriel... Uh, yeah, you have two levels to go before that. Unfortunately, no growth three either. I'd actually rather Thanatos get the experience here. Just because I kind of want Thanatos to get a little bit more in the way of level ups. I'm having more luck with this than die for me, it seems, so I'm going to try it out. Nah, same effect as die for me, but it's still pretty much fine. Hands are tied. I'm just thinking, like, okay, there's actually a distinct possibility that I might need to grind for this upcoming boss. So I might actually have to stay in this area and grind a bit. I might not be doing two areas or two bosses this time. Ah, oh, easy enemies. I like you. You are a breather after all of that hell. Crusher Fist. I think that's the exact same thing Akihiko currently has. I totally forgot what I was doing. Okay, that's a dead end. Yeah, I was going back. I think I was in there before. I still can't get my mind off how terrifying those enemies are. It's like, Purple Shadows, at least you have some warning. Those things are even worse than Purple Shadows, because they're like 20 levels higher than the average level in this area. And they don't even warn you, because they're just a regular shadow. Speaking of regular shadows, you are not a regular shadow. <laughs> yeah, I knew I'd get spotted by that. I just want to finish that request. That's the last metal request that I have. Actually, maybe not now I think about it. We'll see. I used to think you were the worst thing that I could deal with in this block. I was wrong. I was really wrong. Yes, my skill okay, that's good. Sorry, I'm going to have to cut you off there. And that was also a lot of money. We're doing pretty well when it comes to money. Okay, 64 and then you 63. Okay, so you've caught up with the rest of the party. I'm thinking that I want everyone to be at least 65 for the boss. Maybe even higher, because I think this boss is actually in the early 70s. Oh, you're new! There's one enemy. Minotaur 2. Give me a sec. I'll scan the they door. kind of count down. Now, I want to say this thing is physically based, but I don't want to eat my words. So, I'm going to switch to a baton and hope that I don't eat my words. But if I do, it'll make for some amusing commentary. Well, I certainly didn't eat my words. Yeah, you are mainly... I had a feeling you used ice, too. Ah, uh, it's weak to dark. It does have a kamikaze attack, but if it's weak to dark, it doesn't really matter. Come on, give me Gary Stu's turn back so I can just finish it off quickly. Yeah, it's got a lot of health. Level, see, level 71. Like, this is the average, quote-unquote, strong enemy at this point. 
And then suddenly they throw level 88 enemies at me. Well then, let's see if Die For Me works for you. That sounds like some kind of slogan. Make Die For Me work for you! Thankfully they're giving me more experience cards now, probably because they showed mercy on me after having to go through two of those battles. Okay, now I guess he's 64. So we just need Junpei to get to 64. And we should be fairly close with this group. It'll just be the others that I need to level up. Hello there. There are two enemies. It's weak against Doom Sword. Again. Two enemies left. Now's your chance. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son Great battle. The Persona cards available here aren't that great, but I might as well try. Yeah, you're not really what I want. I don't even have any room for more Personas anyway. And I'm full, and yeah, level 57, nope, sorry. But I will take that one card. No one level up out of that, though. We're getting close to the point where we'll be seeing 10 cards, actually. Always really satisfying when you find those. There are two enemies. You know I might as well try Hammer on while I've got Gabriel out. And it was a success. Great battle. Unlike that time that it... Pff, yeah. Probably want to keep Gabriel with me because she's basically my dedicated vehement idol slayer. Because they can't do anything to her at all. Gold chest, what we got here? Ooh, that sounds... Why do I get the feeling that I found one of those before? I get this feeling that I found one of those before. And it's worse than what you have. And plus 50 SP is useless on Junpei. So, I do not want Apocalypse, thank you. Well, I mean, none of us wants that. We're literally fighting against that at this point, but... Uh, yeah. Yep, it is on 236. And if Fuka's pinpointed another boss, that means we're not actually getting a rank up. Okay then. The Justice Link is kind of weird in when it decides to rank up. It's kind of just when it feels like it. I mean, judgment. Kind of easy to get those mixed there up. Are three enemies. Be careful. The enemies. I've noticed Gabriel in general is just really good on this floor. I was thinking that I wouldn't need to use Gabriel for very much, but actually, no. See, that's the normal spirit drain. I don't know why those snakes had a super-powered version of it. I can still fight. I'll show you my true power. That was like spirit giga drain. Bad Pokemon joke. There are three enemies left. Wow, running out of SP like three times in one block. Really gonna have to go all out to fight these enemies, it seems. Another 9 experience card is good, I'll take that. It was 3... I think that was 4? No, it, it was 1? Well, we hit level 73 anyway. Ah, oh, something tells me there was a really good persona that I could get at level 73, but its name eludes me for the moment. I'm just gonna go have... To, I'm gonna have to go back and check things. You again! Really? Oh, well, Yukari's going next. I won't 
Oh, right, they have like 70 bazillion HP. Forgot about that. Another feed, and let's just get I guess to heal just in case, because really you could not... You cannot have enough healing at this point in the game. Yeah, trying to take a Mega Dollar on unhealed is really bad. I am so glad that I had that sacrificial idol on Gary Sue because that would have been the end right there if not. Okay, so this actually is the end. I'm going to keep going for a little bit, and I might end up eating my words if I end up running into that thing again. I think you're a little too big to be those two. Oh, you might be. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, good. It's this Strike weak route again. Ta -da -da -da. I'm the man. There is a chest here. You're too small to be that group of enemies, I'm pretty sure. You're... I thought you'd be another Minotaur. Enemy. Do I have any curse papers in here? Because I don't have enough SP to cast uh, any of those. Any of those actual... I do have one. And it's going to fail, isn't it? Of course it would. Thank you for casting Boovodine, though. Persona! Unfortunately, you blocked that. The enemy is still alive. Okay, I'm probably going to have to use some SP recovery here. Because, yeah, it's totally impractical to fight these things without instant death. They just have way too much health. I only need a snuff soul though. <laughs> Sorry for that sudden outburst, but <laughs> the way that it just runs up like it just whoop and it just falls over backwards. Maybe we can take this thing out without instant death, actually. That was just <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sure you woo, boom! Oh, I can be immature sometimes. Yeah, you know what? Let's just deal with it. Normal. And I got a crit too. Wow. And it's poisoned. Yeah, let's put it out of its misery. This is clearly the unluckiest Minotaur ever. It was just sitting there hanging its head in shame, like, Please end my suffering. I am a failure to all Minotaur kind. But anyway, let's see what he was guarding. More yen! Again, when I don't really need it! Two and a half million, though. I could definitely go for some fusion right about now. Oh, great. You're gonna... Uh, you actually very well could be those enemies now that I think about it. So I'm gonna be leaving here right now. So that trek was pretty scary and almost very disastrous twice. But we made it. Yeah, this one shadow is strong. Like I said, it's a member of the terrible Tartarus trio for a reason. It's not... Forward, but I just want to give you an idea. There's a reason there were so many balances. Our boss is going to be the king of all balances. This is a boss that some people find so infamous, there are players out there who swear that it adapts to the player's decisions. It doesn't, but it's still pretty annoying to find. To give you a sneak preview, this boss is basically, hey, you know the one more system where you hit enemy weaknesses and get more attacks? Well, here's a boss that can do that too, and it will do it very, very well. Yeah. So, obviously gonna save after surviving two encounters with those things. Those horrible fiends of doom. I am not looking forward to grinding and running into them again, although admittedly they do give a lot of experience. So, I'm going to save here, and next time I think I'm going to go ahead and I'll just check where everyone's at. I think everyone should be around the 64 mark now. Okay, yeah, you're 64. Okay, you get Magarodine in, like, literally a tiny bit of experience. 
and you get some calm in literally a tiny bit of experience. And you're still 63. Yeah, you've still got away. And you get Brave Blade. That is not a bad move at all. So yeah, probably should grind those three just a tiny bit more. Akiko and Mitsuru need a little bit more, as does Ken and Koromaru. So, yeah, we've got a little bit to do. I think I might try and grind everyone to at least level 65 before taking on this boss. Because it's quite an infamous one. So until then, I will see you next time.